Welcome back. We're talking about logistic regression. This is episode something, five or six, I can't remember which, but we are working our way through all of the aspects of logistic regression. And just so that you know, we're looking at a data set um, that you have access to, by the way, if you're working in R, if you install ML Bench as a package, call it with the library, and then you've got this data here. And all of the data we're looking at refers to that. Here's the first 10 lines of the data. We're particularly looking at diabetes as an outcome variable. Uh, diabetes, logistic regression, just in case you don't know, logistic regression has uh, always a binary outcome variable. Yes, no, black, white, male, female, up, down, blah, blah, blah. And we're looking at a number of predictive variables that we're putting into the model now. So I'm not gonna get into uh, talking about logistic regression in detail. You need to go back and watch the rest of the, the earlier videos in this series, just so that you know you can access this page over here that I'm looking at at the moment with all of the code and it has code annotations. Um, it, there'll be a link at the end of the video that you can click on, okay? And, and then you can you can access this page and go through the, this in a lot more detail. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. Let's talk about collinearity, right? And this is basically, if there is a strong correlation between your predictive variables, you may have a problem. And we mean a strong correlation. A weak correlation isn't anything to get upset about, uh, necessarily. I mean, you look at a number of things, but generally we wouldn't get out of bed for a correlation of more than 0.7, correlation coefficient, and uh, more than 0.8 we would be concerned. And we'd look at this quite carefully and potentially remove one of the variables. There are a couple of strategies you can employ um, to deal with severe collinearity if you have it. And, and I'm not going to deal with that in this video. What we want to do in this video is identify whether or not there is a problem. And in this particular data set, I can tell you that there isn't a problem. So hooray. But let's have a look at how we got there. Right. Firstly, what is collinearity? So if two variables, if two of your predictive variables are very highly correlated, it may mean that baked within them there is overlapping information and that uh, it confounds, it, it basically befuddles our understanding of the relationship between those variables and the outcome variable. Okay, the best way of framing it is what I've got on the screen at the moment. Uh, collinearity uh, makes it difficult for a model to figure out uh, the individual impact of each variable on the outcome because they're essentially explaining away the same variance. Let's, let me give you an example. Uh, body mass index, which is made up of, you know, weight, height, and weight are two, often two separate variables that will be 